so hi and welcome to this video so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the uh, watch page uh, we're going to be uh, making it and uh, displaying a video on it so let's get started so I'm going to open up the PHP tags so that we can uh, use PHP code in our page and our page is watch.php and the extension is important so that we can use the PHP code as well um, so if I come here we can see uh, that nothing is on the page is just white because uh, we've only just added the tags and there's nothing in between them so we are not actually displaying anything so the first thing we need to do is we need to include uh, the header so it's the header file is in include slash header dot php and we save that we go back to the page and we refresh it and as you can see uh, we have our header displayed so the next thing we need to do uh, is we need to find a, a way to, un to uniquely select each video. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be using the uh, video ID. Uh, well, not actually the ID. Uh, if we scroll over. Well, okay, we can use the video ID. So uh, we're going to grab the video ID from the database. And then we're going to... Uh, well, that's how we're going to find out what video to display. So the way we're going to grab the video ID is we're going to use the uh, we're going to use the uh, URL and we're going to use something called URL parameters. So we're just going to say um, we're we're going to use the uh, question mark. Then we're going to say video ID equals and then we're going to have to uh, select whatever the ID is. So whatever the ID is in here. So for example, if I go back here and I copy this, whoops. So if I just got, get rid of that and paste this in, we can see this is the video ID. And what we want to do uh, when we hit enter on this is we want to load the page, um, the watch page. But we want to give the uh, watch page the parameter of the video ID so that it can uh, it knows what video to display. So uh, that's really easy in PHP. All we have to do is say video ID equals get. video ID whoops and um, what this is called when you have the question mark is called a get parameter uh, which is why whoops we use the uh, the dollar underscore get uh, function in PHP well it's not really a function but um, just think of it like a function uh, and then we give it the uh, parameter of video ID which is the uh, parameter we specified here which is uh, what comes directly after the equal or the uh, question mark and directly before the equals so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to just echo that out so we're going to say echo video ID so now we've done, we've done that if we hit enter and load the page it echoes um, this string of text here but uh, I can ch I can type in anything I want, and if I hit enter, it will display that on the page. So what we want to do is we want to put a check in to see if the uh, video actually exists in the database. So to do that, what we're going to say is, is we're going to do uh, whoops uh, check equals MySQL query select uh, video ID. Well, actually, we could say select all from videos where video ID equals video ID. The next thing we want to do is we want to get the number of rows. So we'll just say, or we could actually just do a while loop. So we could say while While um, MySQL, whoops, numrows, um, check is, uh, doesn't equal zero, um, then we say, actually that's incorrect, we want to actually uh, cut that, 
we want to uh, store this in a variable, so uh, num rows. We actually we don't even have to. We can just paste it in here. We could uh, surround it in an if statement. So if uh, surround this in an if statement, so that only the, the while loop only gets run if the uh, if statement. Uh, is correct, so that means the while loop will only run if uh, a row has been found. And we'll like to make this even more secure, we'll just say equals equals one so that there can only be one row. And if there's more than one or less than one, then we have a problem. So, what we want to say here is while row equals MySQL fetch associative um, check. So, what it does is it basically just creates an array out of all the um, uh, items returned. So, for example, if I was to say id equals uh, row i whoops id, what it does is it selects the um the id field out of the uh, row array, which is the array we created up here. Uh, so if I was to do that and then come down here actually and just echo. ID. We had answer we should get uh, nothing or an error returned. And the reason we got the error is because MySQL numrows uh, expects one parameter, and that is um, and that's actually for a different reason. It's because our query failed because we selected the wrong row or the uh, wrong uh, column. It's actually video underscore ID, not video ID, all one word. So now if we refresh. We get nothing echoed out, which is uh, okay, that's good. So what we want to do is we just want to copy the uh, video ID again. And we want to... Now what we want to do is we just want to paste it up here. And uh, we, if we hit enter on that and we load the page, we should get one echoed out. And uh, we do, we get one echoed out because that is the uh, ID of the video. So if we scroll over... Uh, you can see that's the uh, result in the ID field here. So uh, what we want to do is we just want to get uh, all of the different uh, columns. So we'll just copy and paste this a couple of times. So now we have, um, we just need to change these for each of the uh, corresponding rows. Okay, so I just uh, went into the database and got all these names of the uh, rows or uh, columns even. Uh, there actually is one more, it's called file md5, but I'm not going to use it because uh, we don't actually need that to display, uh, to the, we don't actually need to display that to the user. These are, we're only gathering the things that we uh, will display to the user, and the ID isn't actually required, we just put that in anyway. But uh, I'm just going to paste it in here. And uh, this is just us putting all of the um, values from the database into our array so we can display it to the user. So now if I was to say echo video title. And I was to hit enter. We get this random string of text entered or uh, echoed out to us. But if we remember that and we go over to the database and scroll over. We can see it is the same as the video title from the video title field. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to delete that. Uh, we're going to actually come under the end of this, uh, whoops, the if statement. And we're going to echo an, uh, let me see, we're going to say header. location index.php if the uh, we're gonna echo this if the uh, video f is uh, not found in our database so now we just put, change this to some random video ID that doesn't exist and it will redirect us to our uh, home page and as you can see it just did it redirected us to index.php so we'll go back to watch Oops. If we go back to uh, watch.php and we put in a real video ID, we get 
uh, nothing echoed out because we're not displaying anything. But that's okay. So under here, what we're going to do is we're just going to say h2. Echo video title. And there we have our video title echoed out. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, go into the database and scroll over. And we have a problem with our um, with our uh, videos table. So what we have, what the problem is, is we're not actually telling the uh, videos table uh, where to find the video file. So at this point in time, we can't actually display it to the user. So what we need to do is we need to scroll over and up. And we go to structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to add a new column at the end of the table. So this column is going to be called uh, file location. We're going to set it to uh, text just to accommodate for long file names. And we're going to click save. So now that we've done that, we need to actually add, uh, we need to copy the name of it actually. And we need to go into the upload file, uh, the um, the upload file and we need to uh, update our query to insert it into the database because if we don't update our query if we don't update our query we won't actually be able to add any videos to the database so we need to scroll down and find upload we click on that and we scroll down and click on open okay so here we are and in our insert query all we need to do is add um, another uh, column on after this and we need to give it the name of the file so we'll just give it the file name variable so we've, once we've done that we're going to go to our upload page again so we're just going to go upload.php And we're going to upload a video, so we're just going to put it in uh, my, my video, uh, just in my video example. Uh, this is my video keywords, just, I don't know, video. This is my, I don't know, it doesn't really matter what we call it, what the keywords we use are. We choose the file. We choose test video one and... Uh, we click on upload. So oh, okay, it says this is a duplicate upload, and that's because of some of our checks we did earlier. So we're just going to scroll up, click on a video box, and when it uh, we're going to empty the videos table. So it says truncate videos. Click OK, and then there we've uh, just emptied the videos table. So I'm going to click inside of it anyway, and we're going to go back to the upload page. So we're just going to do the same thing again, my video example. This is my video. Just say this is my video. Public, choose file, test video one, and we're going to click upload. It says the video was uploaded successfully. We're going to click on browse. Here's our video. It got inserted into the database, which is good. That shows it's working. We go to file location and here it is. Uh, and if we open the videos folder, uh, we can see here, whoops, something's not working. Okay, we can see here that uh, here is the actual video file. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Um, there will be more videos coming out really soon. I'm sorry for the uh, delay. Um, and what I've decided to do is I'm going to shrink the videos down a bit. So each video will be slightly shorter, and, but I will upload them more often. So that way um, uh, you can watch them uh, quicker. And if you don't have time for a full 20 minute video, you can watch a 10 minute one. Um, or if you have time for, about, for a 20 minute video, you can just watch two 10 minute videos. And hopefully this will mean that more people will uh, have time to watch them. So thanks for commenting, or uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.